Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening. It's going to be a very short video. We've got some Cavalier Iron Tomb Crystals. So we've got six of those. That's all we're going to do. We're just going to spin these out and see what we get. I did not uh, grind in the arena any of the times the arena was there uh, to get more of these, or else I would have been able to open up a lot more. But this was good. Uh, I saw that the timer was running down on it, and I was like, ooh, I better buy these crystals before it runs out, because I wasn't sure if after it ran out, you just wouldn't be able to buy them or whether the crystals were going to go. All right, so first one, and we get a three-star. So happy I did not grind in the arena for this. Uh, there was just too much else going on, and I was not trying to um, burn myself out. All right, so that's the first one. I would be more excited over these if they didn't have three stars in them. At least a four star will give me five star shards. But at this point in time in my roster, I'm not really all that excited about five star shards, um, but at least more five stars would give me more six star shards, which is what I am interested in. But getting three stars from these, that's not worth the grind at all. So, yeah, I passed on all of those uh, arenas. But you can get a six-star out of these crystals. So that's why we're uh, grinding, or not grinding, but that's why we are opening these up. Uh, I could get a six-star Doom out of this, you know? But more than likely, all right, we got a four-star Airwalker. Yeah, that was worth it. No, not worth it. Um... And to think that these Cavalier Crystals, people spend units on these, and they're not worth it. But if you have that gambling bug in you, that's when you want to do these. But these were free. I didn't buy these uh, with any units or anything like that. We got the shards for completing content, and I was going to complete the content anyway. So these were just freebies. And if we get a six-star any six star out of this even if it's a dupe that's a win um but yeah with with three stars being the lowest that you can get and the most common yeah it's hard to get uh excited about these um but there's always a chance always a chance you can get somebody good all right what do we got now hey we got a five star though that's better than a three star i would rather get a bunch of these and Venom the Duck is not bad, although I have the six-star uh, Venom the Duck. I used to use him a lot in incursions. Uh, now I have a different team that I go in with. Uh, but Venom the Duck is actually pretty good uh, once you get him ramped up. Now, that was a little bit of a pain because it was random what buffs would come up so that you could then bank the buffs. So sometimes if the RNG didn't favor me, I was sitting there just trying to fight and it just was not pleasant. But when he did have the right bus ramp, uh, you know, um, banked, he was crazy good. He was highly sustainable. If you banked a few regens, bank a few um, damage. Oh, he was crazy. Um, a lot of fun after you ramped him up. Okay. Okay. You know what? That would be a fire pull if I didn't already have him at SIG 200. That would have been crazy. But that is a max signature ability crystal. We will open that up since we got it in this video. We'll open that up, but that was good. Now give me a six star version of Dr. Doom. That's when you'll see me get real excited. If that was a six star, but hey, two five stars out of six crystals, is fire okay that is awesome those are six star shards right there so very happy about this opening so far doom excellent champion the only reason i wasn't that excited is because i already have him at sig 200 but in any other case if i didn't have him at sig 200 or if i didn't have him at all that would have been on fire all right what do we got here Okay, a, a four-star. Um, so, so far, 
it looks like we only got one three star, so that's good. That is good. This is actually far better than I thought it would be. Those two pulls. Venom the Duck is not bad, even though you don't see him used a lot, but he is actually pretty good. Um, but then you got Doom. That is the, you know, um, the best so far from this. Can this last crystal beat a Doom five star? If it's a six star, and if it's a new six star, then yeah, for me personally, it would beat that five star Doom that I already have at say 200. But definitely, definitely a very good opening given what this was. And I keep seeing those six stars and any of them I would take, boy. All right, slowing down. What do we got? Okay, and we ended with another five stars. So that is not bad. Three five stars out of six. That is crazy good odds. And Don, um, uh, what do you call it? Dormammu, he is a little underrated. He has very powerful um, power control. Uh, but yeah, that, that went way better than I thought it was going to. All right, let's go ahead and open up that max signature ability crystal that we got. Let's see, not you, not you, but you. No real. So we're just going to tap it. Uh, most likely we will get shards, but I like shards. Um, we could also get an awakening gem. You know, um, that one wouldn't be too bad. Uh, or we can get a new champion. What do we got? Shards. That's the most common. I'll take that all day, every day. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed yourself. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.